Hello, everybody. My name is Travis Brandner, and I am here in the studio with Dog Yop. Dog Yop, will you guys please introduce yourselves to everyone out there in Internet Land? Sure. I'm Tyler Randall. I play sitar and sing. And I'm Rob Keenan, and I play the guitar and synthesizers and sing. Thank you so much for being here, guys. Looking Thanks for forward having us. to talking to you guys, asking you some questions. I want to start this interview off by congratulating you for winning the best new artist at the Cincinnati Entertainment Awards. Thank you very much. There were a lot of artists nominated for that, and you guys won. That's, that's really awesome. Did you feel like you were going to win when that happened, or how does it feel to win? Like, Just tell me about that whole experience. I don't... I wasn't expecting to win. It was um, there were so many great bands nominated, so I was just happy to be nominated along with with other great great groups. Um, it felt it felt cool. I, I know uh, like our our mothers were there and they were very happy, and so that was cool that they they were they were happy. Um, I had something to say and then I forgot it. Uh, I, I I thought it was really a great honor just to be um, nominated in the, in the first place, especially because we really only put out a six-song EP and we got nominated for um, I think it was al album of the year or something too. And um, yeah, it, it was just it was a fun celebration. It was unlike anything I've really been to. I, it kind of felt like a like a track or cross country ceremony or something like that some sports awards when you're younger but but it's actually something that we uh that we care about and it's stuff that we're that it's like what we've really been trying to do for a long time tyler and i've been playing music together for 10 years so it really does feel nice to, and we moved around for a while so it feels nice to be back in our hometown and recognized for kind of a new project with something we've been doing for a really long time Would you guys say that winning that award was one of the best moments of your career? And if it wasn't, could you please tell me maybe what your best moment was as a band? Um, that was not the best moment in our career. I think the, the best moments are when we write a really good piece of music. That's kind of, I feel like, that's when I feel like I've, I've already made it, you know? when you write a good song and you're playing it, you're like, it's, you've already made it, you know? So those are the best moments. I'd say the last, the best time we had with that was, was the song Can't Think that we recently released. We were messing around with new ways to incorporate the production and the MPC into the performance. And it was like we hit this spot where we kind of sampled this demo we had made and then chopped it up and Rob started playing it on the pads and I was playing the sitar and we were singing. It was like something clicked. It was just the best feeling. I had the best day after that. So I think, yeah, it was definitely cool though. It was cool, cool. Do you guys have the uh, record plaque hanging up on the wall where you live or in the studio? Uh, Tyler didn't want it so I took it and hung it up. No, I did <laughs> No, oh, we just we didn't we didn't put it in a shared space. I just I took it. Oh, got it. I got it. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I would. That would be really awesome to have that hanging on your wall. You yeah, know, it's a cool thing. You know, I don't I don't really have any other awards or anything on the wall. So, but every once in a while I look up at it. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Right. What is next for Dog Yop? What is next for Dog Yop is. Um, we're going to play Bunbury Music Festival on Saturday. We are currently writing new music to put out a full-length album in September. So we're recording some new songs right now, writing some, and that, that's what's next. Congratulations on getting the Bunbury slot. Thanks, yeah. One of the things that personally made your band stick out so much to me and probably to a lot of people is the instrument that you play Tyler the sitar 
I read on your website that um, you were inspired to play that by a Beatles song. Yes, that is true. Which Beatles song was that? It's called Within You, Without You, off of Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. And you you got one of those and you taught yourself? Mm Mm-hmm. Very slowly. Rob remembers I, um, so I heard it on that song and I thought it was some sort of like electronically produced sound. And then I'd recently met Rob, this guy right here, and he told me, he said, no, that's a sitar. And showed me some Ravi Shankar. And so I um, saved up for a while. I watched a lot of dogs and mowed some lawns. And uh, yeah, it's true. And then uh, ordered it from India and it took forever to come, um, forever. And it finally came, and I was devastated because I was just like, what the heck am I going to do with this thing? I mean, it was like big. all these parts everywhere, and it was big. I'd never seen one in my life, so it was like... Strings roll. Yeah, I mean, you know, they had to ship it. But I just started... I was taking uh, I was taking jazz guitar lessons at the time, and the sitar was a nice way for me to just be free and not have to worry about any sort of... Uh, any rules or anything. I mean, I didn't know anyone who knew what it was. So I could just, I went by this like nature preserve on this, on this, this water and would just like make stuff up, just play and sometimes I'd hear like birds doing something or I'd try to do it and then the bird would do it back. I think that happened once. I was kind of like, I was chilling, but uh, I think that did happen. It's a beautiful instrument. Thanks. It's really, really cool looking. Um, it sounds good too. Yeah, it's the sounds. It, it's it sounds beautiful, but it's also a very beautiful like piece of wood, you know. Yeah, yeah. And I'm assuming that's not E A D G B E. No, it's not. It's not standard guitar tuning. It's it's like an open C sharp tuning. Which is also what I'm playing. Thank you for explaining that, by the way. I was very curious to hear that story. And Rob, I would like to ask you about you, what you play. So you play an open C-sharp guitar, but I wanted to kind of talk to you about the sample pad. Sure. What kind of uh, sample pad, or what is that called, that you use? Um, I use an MPC 2500 in my left hand, and then um, a critter and guitar a pocket piano in the right hand. And that, that pocket piano has a chord running down to a volume pedal, so... Um, I'm usually the way I've been using using it on a few of our songs. Um, not so sure, for example, um, I'm holding down a chord in my right hand and swelling it in with my foot, and then kind of like playing um, playing sampled kick drums and uh, a Casio keyboard that we sampled on an MPC and keeping the rhythm that way in my left hand. It's it's kind of a I mean my piano was my first instrument, but it's been sort of a can I say mind fuck? Mind fuck. It's been a mind fuck. Mind trying, fuck. To, trying to get you know, trying to learn how to play this instrument and also like stand straight up and like sing and look at the audience. I mean, it's 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 a very strange thing, but it's been fun developing it. Sounds very complicated. Yeah. <laughs> you must be a pretty smart guy to be able to, and very creative to be able to figure. Yeah, is is he? This no. Guy, <laughs> no. <laughs> you guys have been a pretty big part of the Cincinnati music scene lately, playing a lot of good shows. I'm sure you guys have a lot of musician friends in Cincinnati. Could you guys tell me what you like about the Cincinnati music scene and what you hate about it? And what's awesome about it, what's terrible? Thoughts, okay, please? Okay, I, um, I, li- I like, my favorite part about the Cincinnati music scene is the music. Um, I really like going out to hear. <laughs> no, it's about the music, and there's a lot of good people making a lot of good music. You know, when we first moved back here, um, before we did, from wherever we were, uh, uh, I was in Schenectady, Rob was in Schenectady, New York, Rob was in Colorado, Boulder, Colorado, and uh, the Tillers were a huge huge sound that we got into and just became obsessed with and so they're, they're, they've been a big inspiration. Something I don't like about the Cincinnati music scene is there's not enough techno. I would really love some more techno. Uh, 
I love techno. I love minimal techno and um, trance. Not so much about trance. I like house, you know, and I like I like dance music. I love DJs. I love to DJ. Uh, so I wish there was uh, I wish there was kind of that that thing happening, which there, there, I don't haven't found it yet. Um, and that's all I have to say about that. Rob, what do you like about the Cincinnati music scene? Uh, I really like uh, about space where a lot of us practice. Um, it's kind of cool because when we first moved up from the north side, um, we kept hearing about this place about space, and then we went and checked it out, and we got a little little space in there, and we've just met so many people that are all in the same hallway, and so usually everyone's kind of like either packing up to go to a gig or they're practicing or, and we're always just kind of yeah it's like a dorm we're always just like talking to, to one another and, and kind of know what's going on with everyone and there's there's a sense of like camaraderie and, and um, just a good feeling between everyone I think um, I really like uh, Dro's Midnight Army uh, Alessandro is he has like a list on Facebook and he lists like all the events that are going on so that's like that's really cool um, I I'm, I'm sure there's things like that going on in all kinds of towns, but it's really nice to have that in Cincinnati, just to be able to like look at this one centralized thing of like all the things that are going on. And um, and he's in a lot of different bands, playing mostly as a drummer, but also a bass player. Guitar, and but singing. yeah, well, he does all kinds of things. But then when he had his own project, um, one of the residency nights that we had at the Comet, um, it was like their debut show of this of his own music, where he didn't play any instruments, he just sang, and um, and he had all this cast of characters of like Kate Wakefield and um, Josiah Wolf was playing drums. It was just Stella like a, days, yeah, Molly yeah, Molly yeah. Solomon was singing, and that was just cool to like see all these people that I've heard in different in different groups and uh, all coming together over one guy's music who I really didn't even know. I I just had never heard his his music and it was great. Um, so I really like that. I also have like a, a special place in my heart for like. The folk scene, uh, the Tillers, um, Buffalo Wops, and the Price Hill Hustle of Casey Campbell. Before we uh, before we call it a day, do you guys have anything you want to say to everybody on camera? Come see us. Come see you at Bunbury, or listen. Wait for the new. I, I guess I'd just like to thank everyone for all the support, <clears throat> all the support we've gotten so far. It um, one of the reasons why we love being here is because. Uh, it's a very nurturing community, and we feel very comfortable expressing ourselves in in any way in any way that we feel, and that's kind of a, a really nice thing to have. So thank you very much for for listening and coming out to shows. It really means a lot and helps us. Um, I I I'd also like to thank everyone for for coming to hear us. Um, it's been really really cool to have a lot of support and a lot of people coming out at, out to the shows and meeting people um, I'd also just like to say like um, yeah if, if if you're doing something that you love to do just keep doing it because um, it's a it's life life gets even more fun if you continue to do it because um, it's there's a lot of things in the world that are kind of like that I don't think necessarily they're even trying to steer you in a certain direction, but it can feel like things are trying to steer you in certain directions, and um, yeah, just keep keep going. Doggy up, thank you again for being here. Thanks for having us, Trav. Everybody, you should listen to Doggy Up. They're everywhere on the internet. Bandcamp, SoundCloud, Spotify, iTunes. Please tweet about them. They are on Instagram, uh -huh. and yeah, if you want to do all of that at one time, just go to their website, www.dogyop.com. Mm -hmm. If you would like to see more interviews like these, please check out my website, <laughs> www.travisbrander.com. See you guys later.